Shalom, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, You know, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. My name is Connor Walk from Great Millstone, Toronto. Doing a lesson here. This is in regards to the scripture, Ecclesiastes 5 and 15. I tried to upload this video yesterday. You know, a couple times, but I wasn't able. You know, it's just Satan. You know, but, um, you know, this is a very important thing. What we should do. Or what we should know as, uh, you know, men of the Lord, you know, and what we should apply to ourselves, man, you know. Ecclesiastes 5 and 15, it says, uh, Sakya, Sirach 5 verse 15, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small, you know, so, you know, um, first of all, that applies to wisdom understanding, man. You know, the Mosai has to bestow upon you. You have to ask the Mosai, you know, to bestow upon you wisdom understanding, man. You know, where you're able to interpret things, you know. And that everything else will come after, man. The Mosai will bless you with more knowledge, you know, of certain things, man. And you have to apply, you know, because ignorant means uh, lack of knowledge, you know, so... You have to know, you know, um, you have to know how you maneuver in this society, man. And you have to know your history. You have to study. You know, the scripture says, uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved, right? You know, so you have to understand your scriptures, man. The basics, the fundamentals, the meat, you know, because... You know, we, we we on the highways and byways, we're teaching people, you know, we're teaching people the word, you know, and anybody could walk up to your camp and um, ask you all type of questions, man. You know, going to the scriptures, going to different history, going to certain uh, laws, words, terminologies, all type of things, health, and, and you have to know how to deal with people, man. You know, and the main thing is that you have to know how to deal with people through the scriptures. You know, so I'm gonna get Second Timothy Slakia. Slakia, just a quick impromptu lesson, man. Second, Second Timothy two and uh, fifteen, Slakia. Bear with me. Second Timothy two verse fifteen. It says study to show thyself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, man. Yeah, you have to know how to divide the word, man. You know, going into different history, going into current events. You know, you have to know how to divide this word, man. It's a serious matter, man. Very serious. You know? So, like, yeah. Yeah, you have to know how to divide the word properly, man. You know, and take out the uh take out the meat from the bones. You know, and also it's like, it's good to apply yourself, man, and um, you know, learn wisdom, understanding. You know, the internet the internet's so vast, man. There's so much information out there, man. There's so many different breakdowns. You know, even uh. You apply even if you apply knowledge, man. You want to learn how to repair something. You want to learn a skill. You want to learn some, uh, you know, entrepreneurship, different things. You could go on the internet. You could go on YouTube, man. Learn everything. You know the internet's so uh, amazing. That's why Esau wants to get rid of it, man. You know, and um, again, we as men of the Lord, prophets out there, highways and byways teaching. We have to know things. You have to, you have to know etymology of words. You have to get into the, that Hebrew and Greek, man. You have to know the history, you know, going back to Genesis, Chronicles, Kings, and stuff. You have to stay uh, in tune, 
you know, and that goes for all of us, including myself, you know, you have to, we have to remain sharp, you know, so uh, no one could confound us, man, you know, this, this truth is like living waters, you know, John 7, um, if I'm not mistaken, John 7 verse 34, you know, No, it's like, yeah. John 7 and 30, 30, 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh Shai stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth, as the scripture hath said, all of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yeah. So yeah, you have to believe this word, you know, word for word, man. You know, there's a lot of things that the average person, they're not going to believe, man. You know? Like, uh... Like polite, look at polite, polite. Uh, he doesn't believe that. He uh, years ago when he debated with the elders, he believed that um, you know, pretty much everything that what we're saying is true, but he couldn't, he couldn't overstand, basically, uh, you know how Jonah got swallowed by a fish and lived for three days in the belly of the fish. You know, there's way out things in the scriptures, man. That 